Hi, welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. My name is Joanna and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analysing a past year examination question from the topic of magnets. I've placed this question in a handout and you may download it for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. So let's get started. Two objects X and Y are placed side by side as shown in the diagrams below. So in experiment 1, we can see that Q is facing R and they are attracting each other. What can we conclude about these two bars X and Y? Can we immediately say that both are magnets? No, we can't. Why? Remember, when we want to confirm that both objects are magnets, we need to look out for repulsion. Have we seen repulsion here? No, we have only seen attraction. But there is something that we can conclude based on the first experiment. X and Y have attracted. In order for attraction to take place, at least one of the object has to be a magnet. If not, attraction would not have even occurred. So for experiment 1, we can conclude that at least one is a magnet. And since both objects have attracted each other, the other object could be a magnet it could also be a magnetic material. We cannot confirm until we try out the second experiment. So what happened in the second experiment? Instead of using R, we use S, which is the other end of object Y. And when we bring the two objects close to each other, what happened? Yes, they have again attracted. Now, what can we conclude about the other material now? Is it a magnet? No, it is a magnetic material because if the other object was also a magnet, we would have observed that the two objects moved away, which means they have repelled. However, we did not see that. We saw that the two objects moved towards each other and they have attracted. Hence, we can now conclude that the other object is a magnetic material. So here are the two conclusions from this experiment. Number one, only one of the object is a magnet. Number two, the other one is a magnetic material. So let's look at the statements now and find out which statements are correct. A. One of the objects X or Y is a magnet. Yes, this was exactly what we have concluded earlier. So this is correct. B. Q and R are definitely Unlike poles, remember, to have poles, they must be a magnet. Yes, one of the objects is a magnet, hence it has poles. But based on our conclusion, the other object is not a magnet. It is only a magnetic material. Hence, it would not even have poles in the first place. Thus, B is wrong. C. Both objects X and Y are made of magnetic materials. Some students tend to put a cross for this statement because they think, oh, we only have one magnetic material. The other is a magnet, so wrong. But students need to take note that even magnets are made of magnetic material. So since we have one object which is a magnet, it is made of a magnetic material and the other is also a magnetic material. So yes, both are made of magnetic materials and therefore this statement is correct. So the correct statements here are A and C and therefore answer is number 4. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos we made, click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!